All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are in a Mirage, and I am fighting another Mirage. That Mirage is being flown by Longshot. Uh, he is flying an Israeli Mirage, I'm flying the French one, and uh, we're going to try to give each other a hard time and see who wins, who comes out on top. Um, here we go in the Mert, that's a one circle, and I'm going to use the vertical a little bit just because I want to stay out of his nose. Symmetrical aircraft means like we're going to have very similar turns. Um, in terms of the one circle, two circle fight, um, it shouldn't matter because again, we're in symmetrical aircraft. He can do everything I can do. Um, so I can rate fight. I can, you know, two circle, one circle. It doesn't matter. Uh, he can't, his aircraft is not superior than mine in any way. So it's really just going to come down entirely to pilot skill. Now, uh, the main thing with the Mirage that I've, you know, I don't consider myself an expert in really anything in DCS, but oh, he actually took some shots at me there and went right over my head. Um, but what I think with the Mirage is, you know, it, it's got a really good, oh dear, I've actually stalled the aircraft out here a little bit. I'm kind of stuck in this situation. <laughs> you see, now I'm feeling good that I told everybody that I'm not good in the Mirage, because uh, imagine if I said I was good and then I did this shit. But uh, I, I think the fight in the Mirage, it, it it looks really good and it's really challenging when you get to the slow speed. And what I really like about the Mirage is its slow speed control. You know, it's one of the only aircraft where you could be at like 120 knots and still feel like you're in total control of the aircraft, you know. And I think that's that's pretty awesome. Now, he is getting into a good position here. I don't like that. Good thing those missed. I'm going to roll it over. Lots of rudder. Lots of rudder. And this fight's going to go into a downward spiral. I can already see it. And here we go. That's exactly where we are. And I'm just trying to keep, you know, we both have our noses dumped, as you can see here. And I'm just trying to keep myself above him such that he can't point his nose at me. This is a nose position fight. Okay, we are both just trying to point our nose at each other, and uh, it is a game of chicken all the way down to the ground as to who wants to pull out of this fight and uh, go to the, the deck transition here. And we are getting very, very close here. Alright, looks like I'm going to transition first because I don't want to risk hitting the ground. Now again, remember, uh, you know, we talk about the Mirage not being a raid fighter. But when you're fighting another Mirage, it doesn't matter. You can raid fight, right? So that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to transition it to the raid fight on the deck. And he is in a slightly advantageous position here. And if I see and read this correctly, it looks like he's trying to stack high on me. Which is very good for him. I'm going to slowly just build up my speed here. I want to get up to a decent speed and then I just want to change the geometry a little bit and take the fight back into the vertical. And he's just sitting back there nice and comfy. That's all right. We're going to transition to the vertical here. Now this does become dangerous on the way down. He, he actually does have uh, somewhat of a shot. So we're going to have to jink on the way down. Small jink. Just get out of his nose other way and so generally when you're in the same aircraft and you know you have two pilots of similar skill um, the the fight does go into very long periods of you know raid fighting and one circle fighting and everybody's fighting for an advantage but uh, generally it does end up on the deck as we can see here that's basically where we are I'm, I keep trying to give myself some vertical room so I can, you know, dump the nose and stuff and let the Mirage really do what it likes to do, but uh, it's not always possible. And unfortunately for me, a long shot here is not making my job any easier by being a slippery Mirage pilot. He just won't die like a good boy. Oh, shit. Oh, he actually hit me. See, you, you take your eye off the ball for one second, and, you know, you get punished, and that's what happened there. And he's got me totally defensive at this point. 
I'm gonna try to roll it over. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. I thought he would cross the nose there. He did a nice job of staying out of my nose. I'm just trying to keep my speed low so that he can uh, shoot out in front, but he's doing a nice job of using the vertical. Okay, we're going to reverse the turn into him. Force the rolling scissor if possible. Look at how slow we are, and I still feel like I have full control of the aircraft. Okay, out of his nose. Good. Where'd he go? 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 There he is. All right. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shit. See, he, <laughs> he just will not cross my nose. Oh, I don't like how this is playing out. Alright, so last round he shot me in the face, and um, I'm not happy about it. So this round, I'm going to try to shoot him in the face, if I can help it. I mean, I'm, I'm going to take the kill wherever I can get it, but if I can put a round through his cockpit, that would be ideal, because uh, it's not nice to disrespect somebody like that, okay? Just shoot me right in the face. <laughs> Oh shit, okay, so right there, neutral through the turn, he beat me ever so slightly through the first turn. Got a better turn than I did. And I'm not going to make that same stalling error that I did last time. And right here we're just going to dump the nose over. I'm going to try to keep this a one circle fight on the way down. I honestly thought that might hit him. I don't know. That was kind of a bad shot actually. I had a good opportunity to kill him right there. And he's getting into a good position here. I'm going to climb over his nose. Use the vertical a little bit. Now flip the aircraft over using full rudder. Alright, point the nose at him. This is the nice thing about the Mirage. You can just scare the shit out of people by just <laughs> constantly pointing your nose at them. And uh, you do that, you know, and you can, you can force mistakes. People get, they panic. They see your nose come around and they start panicking. And uh, unfortunately for me, I'm fighting another Mirage, so... And look at him, he's doing such a good job of staying out of my nose. And if he would just cross it for a second, I would make him pay so hard for that. I would rip him in half with 30 mil. But uh, unfortunately, he's doing a good job staying out of the nose. And it's, it's really easy in the Mirage, man. The thing just kind of does exactly what you want. So uh, I don't think I'm going to get an opportunity like that. And once again, we're in the exact same fight. As I said, when you have two pilots on symmetrical aircraft with similar skill, this is how it goes. You end up on the deck somewhere. Um, all right, we're off into the deck transition at this point. And he's a little bit lower than me. I can actually still flip it over onto him. So let's see if we can make some magic happen there. You see those vapors coming off that uh, his mirage there? That tells me he just pulled hard on the stick. And I may be... Nope, I'm still pretty slow. I thought if I was in a good energy state, if I had a little bit more speed, I could take the fight into the vertical because I saw him just, you know, pull hard on the stick. But I can't capitalize on that because I also wasn't very fast. So... We are once again in the rate fight on the deck and he's doing the same thing he did to me. He's trying to stack high. I'm having none of that this time. I'm going to try to use the vertical a little bit. I'm actually trying to maybe offset the circle here a little bit, but it's not, it's not exactly working the way I would like. Okay. 
Okay, let's do the same thing. I'm going to pull it into the vertical because he was actually winning the raid fight there. And I'm not a fan of that. Well, he wasn't. He was kind of sitting inside my turn circle and that's very dangerous because he can point his nose at me. I don't like that at all. Okay. And we're just going to take this into the vertical and see what we can do from here. Remember, on the way down, we have to jink. We got to jink the nose position so he can't get a shot. So there's a jink. There's another jink. And don't let him get nose on. Okay, and pull hard. Full rudder. And we are in a rolling scissor. Oh, oh. I think he put in too much rudder there. And that's the critical mistake I'm looking for. A little bit too much rudder input. And he shoots out in front. And he is now totally defensive. And it is now my opportunity <laughs> to put some rounds through his cockpit. Oh! I thought that one would do it. Shit. Please let me kill him before I run out of ammo. Right here. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, damn it! <laughs> Dude, <laughs> right under his wings that time. Alright, come on. He's starting to neutralize this. Shit. Alright, it's gotta be right here. Cross the nose again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. God damn it. Come on, man. Okay, right here. Yes, dude, that went right through the cockpit. Yes, it did. He's dead. He's dead. Yes, he's dead. <laughs> yes, I shot him right in the cockpit again. Oh, yeah. That's disrespectful right there. That felt good. All right, guys, let's do our quick TACV review. This is me in the blue, uh, long shot in the red. Uh, don't forget to follow and subscribe to his channel. Uh, link in the video description below. Here is the merge. He's going to come in at a Mach 0.84. I'm 8.7. And there's the merge. We opt for a one circle. And quick explanation again for anybody who's still asking. One circle is right here when the two bandits turn like this. And if long shot had turned this way, it would be a two circle. And the way that you could remember that is this forms two circles, one, two, because I would come around this way and a one circle forms just one circle. Okay. Um, the two circle is a rate fight. The one circle is a nose position fight. So in this here, I'm going to turn the labels back on. Um, I climb, I used a little bit of the vertical just because we're symmetrical aircraft, which means it's very likely that our noses are going to meet in the middle. And I just want to climb over and just take away any risk of him shooting me as he, as he goes by like that. And on the way down, you can see that we both reverse into each other. And we are maneuvering in relation to the bandit because we're forcing one circle fights all the way down. You just have to turn into your bandit every time. Um, you want to constantly create those BFM problems. And he, so he actually does a nice job here where he maintains, like, he ends up in a situation because he keeps it a little bit more it doesn't dump his nose in this regiment right here whereas I do and what that creates is a situation where he's above me and this is very dangerous in a mirage fight um, if he can hold the altitude advantage on me it makes it much easier for him to point his nose at me and kill me on the way down as you can see right here right notice how 
like he gets a shot off there unlucky to miss but you can see how it gave him a good uh, good shot good situation there um, this right here is the part where I goofed up and I thought I had a lot more energy than I did but uh, I ended up just stalling the aircraft out so that's a mistake on my part I'm lucky that he was busy turning around and couldn't kill me there um, but I do end up you know in the altitude advantage a little bit so I managed to dump my nose here and unfortunately unable to capitalize on that he reverses his turn continues the force the one circle so you can just see constant you know fighting for nose position when it comes to the mirage it's what it's good at and uh it's really how you want to exploit it we talked about in the video like yeah i can raid fight him but why would i you know what i mean why would i raid fight it's just not what the mirage is good at so even when fighting another mirage i'm still gonna try to go for nose position it's just the mirage is better at that um, i could absolutely raid fight him but you know so, um, right here, this is where we end up in that little uh, downward spiral, um, where we're basically playing kitchen, who, uh, chicken, whoever, playing kitchen, what the hell? <laughs> we're playing chicken uh, on the way down, and the idea is whoever pulls out of this first will probably lose, so we both kind of got to ride it all the way down to the ground, and uh, once we get down there, we got to do a deck transition, and... You know, it's basically into the raid fight from there. And the reason for that is because we can no longer dump our nose. So it basically forces us to do a raid fight on the deck. Uh, right here is the deck transition. And you can see long shot at a Mach 0 0.43, I'm 4.9. So I actually came down at this point in a little bit of a better energy situation. He starts pulling the altitude, trying to go for that um, stacking high thing. And as I continue through the circle here, I'm just building up my speed, 440, 450, 460. And I'm really just trying to uh, build up the energy so I can take this fight into the vertical. And so you can see right here, he has stacked high and he is turning inside of my circle. Okay, if he brings this down to my altitude, I'm in a very dangerous situation. He absolutely can do it, but uh, he's just sitting up there waiting for um, his opportunity. You can see now I'm actually starting to outrate him here as I get a little bit faster and instantly I take it for the vertical. Why do I do that? I'm sitting at uh, Mach 0 0.78, he's sitting at a 4.4. So honestly, in this fight here, if I just kept climbing instead of pulling over like this, I definitely could have maybe turned this fight around, you know? But uh, I do this, and this is the jink out of the way of his nose, right? You just kinda, I don't even wanna say jink, it's more of an out of plane maneuver um, just to get out of his nose. And right here, again, sitting inside the circle. And it's a little bit more difficult for me to read what's going on in a mirage. It's such a, it's almost like flying against some sort of like kite, you know? Um, I can't quite read its energy states and stuff like I can other aircraft. So it's a little bit more challenging for me. And that's kind of why I think, you know, I end up in these situations where I misread the Mirage's energy state like when he was climbing with me and I said I had more energy during the fight I thought the energy states were actually kind of similar like I thought I had more as I initiated the climb and I saw him follow me I was like oh damn maybe I misread that you know but I didn't I, I should have kept climbing so there's a mistake there so anyway we've transitioned the fight into the vertical here and you can see that we're actually kind of, I was winning it there for a little bit but he has now flipped it around. Go ahead and fast forward a little bit, do it a little faster. You can see he gets a little shot there and I reverse the turn into him to force the one circle, but he pulls up behind me. I don't pull hard enough on the stick there. And so now we're in a nice little scissor here, a rolling scissor. And <laughs> he is just being extremely aggressive. Right here, I was very low on speed. That's why you see this elongated, you know, I wasn't rolling or anything. I was trying to not crash. And uh, I think that was, that really put me in a negative situation. And as he just rolls around me for the shot, I continue to do that. You know, just following him through all of those things, trying to get a good shot. And then he kills me because I got too slow right here. All right, so he used the vertical really nicely. He got really up there, flipped it around, and he comes down to kill me. And I try to follow into it. You know, I'm, I'm turning into my bandit. 
Um, however, I have no speed. So I end up just a slow, easy target. Good kill. That's going to be the tack view for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, big thank you to Longshot for coming out and helping with this video. Uh, definitely check out his channel. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.